hello and thank you for joining us for the next Vintage Legends. My name's Graham. I'm with the Vintage Guitar Players Group and you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash the Vintage Place. You can check us out on Instagram at 95 Vintage Legends. And if you don't mind, we'd love you forever. If you don't mind, maybe just click and subscribe below and giving us a thumbs up. So today I am here with Jamal Franklin. Jamal, thank you very much for joining us from Memphis, Tennessee. Very much uh, no appreciated. Problem. Hi. Um, I can understand you for a, a bit of a busy day, so I do appreciate that you managed to slot us into the schedule as well. Oh, that's no problem. If you if you don't mind to to kind of find out a little bit to start with, then what kind of music do you play? Um, mainly gospel music, but I um I kind of double dabble into uh, soul music, R and B, uh, sometimes jazz on a good day. Uh, <laughs> but mainly gospel. Yeah, that's mainly where I stand. Awesome. I can't play jazz on my best day, so <laughs> my, hat, my hat is off to you. And um, I mean, I know you mentioned before you've been doing uh, obviously some session work and touring as well. Uh, yes. Um, currently on tour with an uh, artist named Tamala Mann and her family, the Mann family. Um, I also play for Lisa Noel Smith and the Brown Singers the Quartet Group, and I play for artists named Jessica Ray and Miranda Curtis. Awesome. Awesome. Quite a quite a lot, quite a repertoire you've got there already. Um, <laughs> and in terms of uh, obviously guitars and such, how did you how did you first stumble upon vintage in the first place? Oh, um, <laughs> oh, this is the question I was waiting for. Uh, <laughs> um, um, it started off uh, it was about 2019. Um, it's a guitarist named Jabari Johnson who uh, endorses vintage and. I looked and I was like, oh man, those are cool, you know. But I never like looked into it because I was always the type of person where I always was afraid to shoot my shot because I was always afraid that I would not make it. So, <laughs> um, I stumbled across the a vintage Instagram and uh, I was like, you know, what if I send them a DM? Because I was, I like the guitars. I was like, man, I want to play them, but I don't know where to buy them. I want one so bad. So I reached out to vintage and they directed me in the uh, direction of, uh, a U.S. rep, which is uh, Rick Taylor. Okay. And um, I joined the uh, Vintage family, got my first guitar uh, from them. And I was like, oh, man. Oh, yeah, I'm hooked. Um, I will forever be hooked. Uh, so that's sure. really the only thing. Vintage is the really, really the only thing that I play now. Um, mainly, yeah, that's really the only thing. I you'll see, If you see me, you'll see a Vintage. It's been that way since 2019, since I started. Um I just love the, really, it's just the way they feel. They don't feel like, you know, the price tag. You know, when people look at the price tag and they think, oh, man, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, hey, now, hold on. Before you, before, don't, play it first. <laughs> play, if they literally feel like they they are worth, like, thousands of dollars, but you can literally just pull it out your pocket and get it. And it feels so great. And it's, you can take it on the road, no hassle, no problems. And it's, it's pretty much like they say, the guitar built for the working man. It's beautiful. Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing, reliability. Um, looks is one thing and playability is obviously another tone, but reliability, if, especially if you're touring and doing sessions and such, you know, it's it's, it's got to stand up to, you know, take the punishment, oh, yeah. you know. But, um, that, that's Absolutely. awesome. In terms of... Um, the, obviously the guitars you have then so what uh, what vintage models do I see there in the background what kind of modifications have you got if any oh wow um <laughs> that's a lot um I can yeah I can I can either you know I can bring them over here or I can go over there whichever one you, you want you can take your pick we get an interactive tour <laughs> cool um let's see um I could just get up and just bring each one over here. That's cool because then you can get the full effect of the guitar and yeah, what's not. Then I don't have to look like, hey, this is a guitar. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I start with, uh, I guess I'll start with uh, this one. Um, this is a, uh, I'm just going to go down the left line. This is a, a custom spec B72. Um, but I added a, uh, modifications on here. I added a big speed on nice. it. Um, but I didn't change any pickups, anything, cause I love the way they sound already. Um, and I don't plan on changing the pickups either, but that's this one. Um, then there's, um, I have a, a VRS 
model. Um, the modifications on this one, I um I replaced the pickups with Lambertson pickups okay. um, to kind of give it a little more bite and more body. Um, I mainly use this for um I guess if I'm cutting a rock record, I'll pull this one out. It's um, a little bit chunkier. It's nice as well, uh, and I know they've obviously been discontinued for quite a while now, but they're nice. <laughs> Yeah, I was just so happy to find one. I, that's the one I actually one of the first ones I wanted, and uh, Rick uh, Rick Taylor told me that they didn't make them anymore. So I went looking anywhere. I was like, "Yo, I have <laughs> to find this guitar somewhere," and I just so happened to find it on Reverb. And I was like, "Oh man, I have to have it. I have to have it." <laughs> now this one, this one is special to me. Um, this was the twenty uh, fifth anniversary um, model, nice. and. Uh, when I saw the picture of the, when they released the pictures of the guitars before they were released, I, I hit, um, reached out to Rick and I told him I wanted one. And I didn't know if I was going to be able to get one because he said they were going fast. And I was, I said, Just put my name down, please. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is model 51 uh, out of 100. And I'm the only U.S. artist to get this one. Um. This one in particular, yeah. It was always the to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I haven't minded this one at all. I don't plan on mind this at all. I love the bite I get out of it. Um, it's very funky when I plug it up. Very, like, it's very clean. I, yeah, I don't plan on changing anything on this one. But now I can get to some of my favorite guitars. Um, I'll start with my all-time favorite, actually. Um, this one, because this is, of course, it's V6, but I modified this one a lot. Um, this actually is the guitar that's went through the most modifications. Um, right now, it has Seymour Duncan single coils and a Seymour Duncan 59 humbucker. Okay. And I also have a blend knob on the bottom where I can blend the humbucker in the neck if I want to and need be to create uh, like a Telecaster sound. Yeah, that's to. awesome. Um, and it's this one. Now, this is actually my favorite guitar. <laughs> it looks amazing as well. And nice, nice choice in the scratch plate there as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it was actually by accident. I was trying to go for black. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I looked and I, and I looked at the knobs and I was like, you know, let me try something different. So I, um, one of my, my, uh, my brother great guitar player. His name is Justin Sip. He has a guitar just like this, but he, well, he has black pickups, right? But he had a, a wooden plate. And I said, if I could get that on this one, I, I would I would be excited. So I got one and I literally sent it to him. I was like, hey man, we got twins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks amazing. And there's, um, oh, thank you so much, man. Um, whew, this is a lot. <laughs> Then there's this one. This is the uh, signature of V6. Um, but I modded um, this one. It used to have a power coil in it, but mm -hmm. I replaced it with a Dragonfire system, a Dragonfire loaded pick guard, where you have kind of single coil and humbucker options for each rail. That's so cool. um, with this one, it's like single coil off humbucker for every pickup selection. So you have maybe... I, in my opinion, it's endless, poss endless possibilities of the pickup combinations that you can create with yeah. this. Because you have like three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty it's, awesome. I think as well, it's really cool to have the little switches for that because I normally get a coil split on all of my guitars that I have uh, so that I can just go down to single if I want to. But it's normally a push pull pot that does it and that's because right. it's normally like a V100 or a VS6 and you probably need to drill some extra holes in the front of the body to get that so <laughs> so <laughs> the, those, those switches on that with the, the pit guard is you know pretty pretty handy man that's pretty cool oh thank you I, I mainly use this for sessions um yeah. I try I used to I used to uh, travel with it 
but it's really serves its purpose as far as if I'm doing, mainly if I'm doing a live session, I'll have this one somewhere close by because yeah. I can get any tone I want out of it. So it's kind of like great to have something versatile, especially if I'm using something else and it goes out, I can create that same tone with this guitar. It might not be exactly what it was, but I can get pretty close to it. Yeah, close. Um, we get to now. Um, let's see. We go here. I'll save uh, the devil for last. I like that you have so many vintage guitars that you can't actually get them all into one shot. <laughs> oh, I, I, I love vintage. I used to tell Rick all the time, I, I want to have the most out of everybody. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I want to. Um, now, this one I just got. I just got this one maybe maybe like four days ago. Okay. Um, I haven't done anything with it. I played it a couple times. Um I just wanted to have it. Um, I saw it and I was like, I have to get it. Um, yeah, I'm. I don't know the the what I'm going to use it for just yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I really, I I just was drawn to it, and I it was between this and a white telly. But I I kind of grad graduated toward or graduated toward this one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there's this one. Then. And I can get to like some of my really personal favorites. Actually, the one I'm about to show you is the first vintage I ever got. Um, but I kind of did some work on it. Um, this one, if you know vintage, you know you're gonna have this guitar somewhere in your arsenal <laughs> as far as vintage. But I kind of stickerified it a little bit, and uh, I didn't change the pickups at all. I love how warm this sounds. Um. Yeah. Thanks. Some nice cosmetic mods. There we go. It doesn't all have to be tonal mods. It can be cosmetic. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You know. <laughs> awesome. I'm almost done. I have two more. I know it's a lot. <laughs> no, this is absolutely perfect. This is what we want to see. Oh, beautiful. Um, now this one. This used to be my favorite guitar until I got the black one, but it still holds a special place in my heart. Um. This um, this one is the, really the only Icon series I have. I want more. I just haven't ordered any more. This is the only <laughs> Icon series I have. But I I really love Icon series, especially with the distress markings and really the bridge. Like I really like how distress yeah. the bridge naturally comes, and the even the whammy bar. Like yeah. you. <laughs> You can't tell me that's great. That's not great craftsmanship. This is amazing. Yeah. Um, it's, it's good with the the Wilkinson, you know, uh, vibratos that you've got the kind of push pull option for the, you know, the, the arm oh, yeah. rather than when like boop, 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 trying to like unwheel it or something, you know, to unwind it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Now this one, I um, I added a coil split because every pickup is a humbucker in this yeah. one. So I have through two little fifty nines. Uh, uh, and then I have a regular 59 and I have a switch here where I can co split all of them That's and awesome. I have a blend knob here where I can also just like my black one I can blend this pickup with that pickup and vice versa That's pretty on the box sure. knob uh, the last guitar has a bit of a story behind it um, I'll just bring it and then I'll Take another story. I want to save it for last. That's all good because well, where are you going to go and get those? We're actually keeping entertained. I'd imagine with those flashing lights in the background that I can't keep my eyes off when you're gone. So you know, <laughs> that is great. <laughs> simple things are using a simple mind. <laughs> now this one actually is not a vintage, but um, I got this guitar when I was seventeen. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a it was a Fender. Um, yeah, long, 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 long time ago, it was a Fender. But I gutted it out, um, pretty much got rid of all the electronics that was in here. Um, it used to be Dragonfire systems. Most of the systems are, are still Dragonfire, but I replaced the pickups with two 59 humbuckers and a, uh, by Seymour Duncan and a Seymour Duncan single coil. And I got a neck, um, I ordered a vintage neck because I said, if I'm going to play vintage, I'm going to do it right. So, and I uh, 
the other neck, uh, the, the fender neck was had some wear and tear because I bought it used. Yeah. And I said, so why don't I just get a vintage neck and can totally just represent, you know? Yeah, so, fair play. Um, the this one, pocket though, did the, how did the how did it fit with the pocket? Was it all right? Um, actually, this neck was a little bit bigger. So I um I had my tech kind of cut and make it uh make it fit. That's okay. a perfect fit now. Um now with this one, it also has the um humbucker single coil. Instead of the push pull, I have the toggle. And I also have the same blend option as the other two on this bottom knob. That's cool. Um this is actually other than my blue uh blue V6, this is the most versatile guitar I have. Um, and this is actually, this one along with my black one and the uh, distressed one, these are the main ones I'm using on tour right now yeah. um, because of the how many um, genres they can jump across as far as gospel, because we're not only doing gospel on this tour, but they can jump through pretty much any hoop uh, that I want. Um, I can take two at a time, but right mainly right now is the red, the red uh, one I just showed you and the black one. That I'm taking right now. Yeah, and those are my vintages. Well, listen, man, thank you very, very much for showing us around the world. Greatly appreciated. Uh, well, it's an even better surprise when you see the, the other ones just sitting there off camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> the one, the one thing I would say, obviously, I know you mentioned about the, you know, the distress models, the icon models. I th- who knows? Maybe from what we've seen teasing wise so far, maybe they'll have some more options at Nam for some new stuff. So who knows? Um, oh. Hopefully, I've been seeing the teasers. We shall see. We've been keeping an eye on them, but hopefully one more week and we'll be able to find out. Uh, uh, I'm definitely going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I looked and I was I was waiting to see if they were going to like release a full picture, maybe like maybe leading up to the NAMM convention. And they kept giving me teasers and teasers and teasers. I'm like, oh man, you just need to just one, <laughs> <laughs> just one picture, <laughs> you know. Uh, Hopefully, so, um, what I would probably ask them, I and mean, you've got a pretty decent um, number of guitars there, and quite a variation in terms of different colours and shapes and all sorts. And if you had to come up with an idea for the Jamal Franklin, you know, uh, signature model or a pro shop, what would what would what would we be looking at? What would you like? Well, let's see. Um, I guess I could say um. I can't... It's something in the works um, that um, I can't show you just yet, but you will be seeing it very, very, very soon. As in, as in, this is very soon. <laughs> okay. Oh That's yeah. Cool. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. Other than the surprise, then, if it was something else different <laughs> and not this one, what else would you like to see? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> well, I can describe it. Um, I'm not going to give away the color scheme or anything, but. Um, it of course it's a vintage, of course. Um it is gonna be distressed. <laughs> because I wanted another distressed guitar. Um and it's pretty much gonna be modeled after my black guitar. Because it's my favorite guitar, so that's the one I I went with to model it after. Um but it has a few extra things that, you know, make it my signature, which you will see very soon. That's cool. Well, not asking for any more information about that one because that's uh, obviously going to be in the works. But if you had oh, yeah. to have a second second, <laughs> second, right, second right, one, right. what do you think? Okay. Um, if I want to do another one, I think I would want to have, of course, a V6. Uh, and if I haven't said before, the V6 models are my favorite models. Any, any models of that nature, those are my favorite by far. Um, so I guess I would go again with the V6 model. Um, I want to do a, a natural finish, like the, the wooden natural finish with a maple neck. Um, I want to have a mini humbucker in the front. Okay. As far as uh, by the neck pickup to be a mini humbucker, uh, the middle to be a single coil, the bridge pick up to be a regular humbucker, but I want it to be where the two uh, humbuckers can be co-split 
and they can be blended together. And I also want to have an option where you can cancel out the middle pickup to only have, instead of blending, just have the two pickups alone by themselves. Yeah. If that makes sense. And I want it to be, well, the plate to be white. Um. Yeah. Sounds a yeah, little like I'll, a, maybe that sounds a bit like it's going to look like an old Ibanez blazer or something like that. Yeah. Kind of, kind, of kind of in that vein. Those, those yeah. That'd be pretty cool. If, if I could create another one. Yeah. That's all right. We'll just need to work on that second one as well, and that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> or and if then, I could get a telly in that same vein, too. If I, if I can get a, 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 like a, a, a V72 like that in the same vein, I would, I would love that. Um, that could, but uh, one that can come with the vibrato already built in, though, you know, instead of having to put the Bixby on it. Yeah, something like that. Sounds, that sounds pretty awesome, man. In terms of your music, then what kind of what kind of stuff have you got uh, lined up for gigging or recording? I mean, solo stuff, anything like that at all? Or? Um, I have um three projects out right now on my SoundCloud. Um respectively called the love story part one part two and part three um i can i could probably i'll probably post the link yeah on, on listen here, we'll, you know. we'll get links on here and as if by magic on the video they will appear there so that's cool oh like right there yeah you know. just right right <laughs> here-ish where they're getting appear in the video so that's cool cool um as far, but that's for, as far as my own stuff. Um, I'm also part of a band called On the Six. We have a, a project out on SoundCloud as well. Um, yeah, that's that's all as far as the things that I do as far as my solo. Um, as my on my own, yeah. yeah I might cool. have. Um, I currently have a single out called No Ways Tired. Um, on all social media. Uh, platforms or all digital outlets um itunes apple music spotify amazon wherever you like to listen to your tunes yeah um yeah um yeah and mm-hmm. for an initial look to just find you online obviously you're talking about instagram facebook where about should we find you online oh, to start with my instagram is slickology so slick and ology um my facebook is just my name jamal franklin um, those are the only two that I oh TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Um, at Slickology, Slickology, and YouTube. My YouTube is Jamal Slickology Franklin. Awesome. And my SoundCloud is Slickology. Awesome. We can check that. Well, let me just say, Jamal, thank you very, very much for you know your time today and coming along. And thanks for you know sharing all, all the the guitars and the information about the specs and the mods, the stories behind them and such. No, greatly appreciate it. Such a pleasure. So thank you so much, man. Oh no, thank you for inviting me. I, I love this. I finally got a chance to do something like this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we we'll, can we can get you back on some other time. We can see these uh, these new guitars sometime as well. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for your time, man. Enjoy your night. Bye bye.